This One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team. The battle to stop a high-profile serial sex offender from living in Whanganui will see the local council heading to court on Monday. But even if the legal challenge fails, it'll be a very tight deadline to get the Beast of Blenheim's new home ready. Renee Graham explains. The site outside the wire of Whanganui Prison is still empty and Corrections has as little as 10 days to turn it into a home. Corrections plans to relocate this state house for Stuart Murray Wilson to rent, but first it must get resource and building consents, as well as install amenities like water and power. We don't believe that they've actually considered the safety of Whanganui people. The council says they have no grounds to decline applications for resource and building consent, but still, Corrections faces a tight time frame to get the house ready. The Whanganui District Council has until next Wednesday to approve the building consent, and it has until next Friday to decide on the resource consent. But Wilson could be out ahead of the official release date next Saturday, September 1st. With building consent, that's just the start of you then being able to do the building work. Um, there'll be a series of inspections of the work you're doing. Corrections declined an interview on whether it will have the house ready in time. All of us in New Zealand would want to know where this man is going to be, but they are not required to tell us. The conditions for Wilson's release face two legal challenges. One is a judicial review requested by Wilson himself, the other from the Whanganui District Council, which will be heard here on Monday at the High Court in Wellington. It's understood authorities are confident their plans will still go ahead, but the parole board is preparing for a fresh hearing should it be required. Renee Graham, One News. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team. The arguments over the controversial release conditions of notorious sex offender Stuart Murray Wilson are now being played out in court. A judicial review is now underway in Wellington. The Whanganui District Council is opposing the decision to release Stuart Murray Wilson in its area, while Wilson's lawyer wants to have his release conditions softened. One News reporter Rebecca Edwards joins us now live from the High Court at Wellington. Good afternoon, Rebecca. Good afternoon. Well, this morning it was the District Council's lawyer who was the first to speak. Now, he was arguing that the Parole Board and the Department of Corrections didn't have things in the right order when they decided where to release Wilson. Now, they, he said that they looked at where his victims were first rather than community safety. Now, Wilson is, of course, due to be released to live on Whanganui prison grounds under very strict conditions. Now, just a short time ago, his lawyer started delivering his arguments to the court, saying those conditions are too strong strict and go too far. He said the balance, had, uh, the balance had swung too far against Wilson. Now we spoke to Andrew McKenzie before court this morning just to find out what his expectations were for today. Here's what he had to say. Well we're expecting to get a fair hearing and we're looking forward to uh, arguing the points raised by Mr Wilson and hopefully getting some relaxation to his bail conditions. And so Rebecca do we know any more about when Wilson will actually be released? Yes, well, in discussions in court this morning about when a decision would be made on today's proceedings, the judge hinted that Wednesday will be the day when Wilson is released from prison. Now, in terms of that decision on today's proceedings, Andrew McKenzie told us he's not expecting one until tomorrow, given just how many issues the judge has to consider. All right, thanks for that, Rebecca. Rebecca Edwards, live from the High Court at Wellington. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team. Rapist Stuart Murray Wilson will live in Whanganui and is set to be released on Wednesday. A High Court judge has dismissed a bid to keep the so-called Beast of Blenheim out of the city. He's also ruled that most of the strict conditions around Wilson's release will stay in place. In a moment, we have reaction from Whanganui with reporter Sarah Batley. But first, Simon Bradwell with details of the court battle. Simon. 
Yes, good evening. Debate around Wilson's release has really raged around the country for the last few weeks. But in the end, a decision came surprisingly quickly, a decision that was made here at the High Court. Stuart Murray Wilson wasn't at court, but he's now less than 48 hours away from freedom. Nobody wants to see this man in their backyard. It's just a difficult situation that we've been left in where there is people like him that don't fit in the new legislation. The Whanganui District Council wanted a High Court judge to stop the serial sex offender being released into a house on Whanganui prison grounds. Where is it that he can best be placed? And they were, uh, at in, in order to ensure the safety of the New Zealand community as a whole. That question was never up. The council claiming that the Corrections Department and Parole Board didn't follow proper procedure. I just don't understand that submission. I don't think, I think you're, with respect, you're wasting your time going down that end. That, it's, a, it's a dead end. Wilson also taking court action today to have his 17 strict release conditions relaxed. Well frankly he's better in jail, he can at least talk to people in jail. He's in a unit with 40 other inmates, he can go and talk to them, play scrabble. But Wilson's refused to admit his guilt or remorse for years of offending. And that does point to him at being at high risk of re-offending. And it does, he had his chance to cooperate. All conditions upheld except one. A plan to have two minders accompany the so-called Beast of Blenheim on reintegration trips to the community. The condition to be followed by two people wherever you want to go was in one sense the most restrictive condition and therefore winning on that point is a, is a victory. Wilson still required to wear a GPS monitoring device, not allowed to drive or travel, not to associate with children and not to drink alcohol. The mayor accepts the decision but isn't yet ready to accept Wilson. I don't see any reason to meet with Mr Wilson. He's a, he's a man who's never, never admitted what he's done, he's never faced up to it. Wilson's lawyer not ruling out an appeal once he's seen details of today's decision. Simon, you mentioned that condition about the two minders being relaxed, so what happens with that now? Yeah, that was a condition that uh, troubled the judge, actually. He was a bit concerned that was tantamount to continuing Wilson's imprisonment. So now Wilson's lawyer and the Corrections Department go back to the drawing board. They've got to come up with another plan. The parole board's got to sign that off tomorrow, and it has to be tomorrow because we now know Wilson's going to be released on Wednesday. Simon Bradwell, thank you. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team. So it looks like Whanganui is now stuck with having one of New Zealand's worst sex offenders in its community. Sarah Batley has been getting reaction to this afternoon's ruling and joins us now. Sarah. Well, Stuart Murray Wilson is already living on Whanganui prison grounds behind me and following today's court proceedings, it seems he's here to stay. It's the start of Stuart Murray Wilson's first week living in Whanganui and he's still not welcome here. Locals angry and disappointed at the outcome of today's decision. It's a family town, you know, and we, we want to feel safe in the community. It's a bit difficult, really. But corrections say this is the best place for Wilson, who'll be living under some of the most stringent parole conditions ever imposed. But it's cold comfort for those who live nearby, who say they don't feel safe. I'm not very happy about it because where he's going to be located out at the prison is right by a brand new mountain bike park where I like to go walking and mountain biking and it's just I don't feel very secure going out there knowing that he's just down the road. Councillor Ray Stevens has been one of those leading opposition in Whanganui. He says the fight's not over yet. A blanket trespass ban is now being looked at more seriously to keep Wilson out of Whanganui City. Giving it to all the businesses and town shops and those sort of people an option to uh, ban the beast and their uh, keep him out of town so he's got no excuse or no reason to come to town. An urgent council meeting will be held tomorrow afternoon to discuss today's developments and look at any other ways of dealing with Wilson and their community. Trespass notices like this one are being handed out to business owners in the morning. All they need to do is fill their details in. Now Wilson's house still isn't on site here. The council have until Wednesday to grant the building consent and say there look to be no grounds to decline it. Right, thanks Sarah. Sarah Batley reporting from... One this One News update is brought to you by ANZ, proud sponsor of the New Zealand Olympic team.